Good morning, TikTok followers. Today I'm going to do video number five on the Death Book of Hair. Started in 1840 and the last entry was made in 2004. I did that myself. The Death Book of Hair is a hair that memorializes family and friends who have died. A swatch of their hair is taken and sewn into a book with their name, date of birth, date of death as a way of honoring their family and friends who have passed on before them. Today we're going to talk about the children. So if you're extra sensitive about the death of a child, please just scroll on. This could be um, somewhat heartbreaking. There's two swatches on this particular page. The first swatch that I'm showing you now is an adult and uh, this is not a member of the family. I'm not exactly sure why this particular person's hair is on the same page with this child, because I don't know that they are actually related. This one belongs to Natalie, or Nettie Brownlow. August 1888 was her death. That's all they have about her, no, no um, birth or any other information on her. I do particularly like this hair swatch because it's braided and it's made into a fine heart with the red ribbons, which mean love. It's a shame that the dye off of the ribbons has bled into the book. What I wanna talk about today is little George Freeman, his hair and his shroud. This is the first entry that had a shroud with it, which really grabbed my attention because I'm not even sure when they stopped doing shrouds. Anyway, We'll lift the shroud and we'll see what George Freeman's hair was like. He was a blonde baby, obviously. Because he didn't have a date put in for the death or the birth, I'm assuming that perhaps he was just um, born, born, stillborn. A beautiful blonde swatch of hair in a red ribbon, of course, which is love again. So sad to see it. And again, the shroud is something that's unique and the only one in the book. If you're interested to hear more about this book, um, just let me know. 